Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Once again, we see an act of violence in a Walmart parking lot. This time it took place in Duncan, Oklahoma, right between 9.45 and 9.50 a.m. Okay, an act of violence in mid-morning. So all you people that say, you know, the crime only happens at night. You're wrong. Crime happens 24 Seven, and some people don't care what time it is. And actually, we've been seeing more and more bold criminals in broad daylight. And this guy, in this situation, he just didn't care because we had a man and a woman who were shopping at Walmart. The female worked for Walmart. They walked out together and sat in the parking lot in their vehicle. At that time, an armed guy comes up totally careless about what's going on around him and takes nine shots and kills them both right around 9.50, all right? So here we have a murder scene in a Walmart parking lot around 9.50 a.m. Now, this is where things get interesting because the stories that have been reported have been so inconsistent. Some of the more trusted news stories reported that an armed citizen then drew his gun, pointed it right at that guy's head, and said, stop firing. The guy heard this and then turned around and took his own life. All right, now, if that's not a dream come true for a self-defense situation, I don't know what is. All right, it is unclear as to what the motive is at that time, and it is also unclear whether this guy was going to continue and shoot at other people. You know, I'm sure there's somebody that said, thank goodness for the armed citizen, the very person that Walmart does not want in their stores, he helped prevent even more death, potentially. But... Why The reason I said it's interesting is because CBS, CNN, they completely omitted that part. They didn't say anything about the armed citizen. Now, the reason I mentioned that it's a dream come true for the armed citizen was because he didn't have to pull the trigger. I'm sure he would have pulled the trigger. He drew his gun. He had it pointed at the guy's head. I'm sure that he would have taken care of business if the guy turned around or threatened anybody else or whatever the case but he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to live with the aftermath, nor did he have to live with the anguish of knowing that he killed somebody. All the second guessing and doubts that happened when somebody actually pulled the trigger, pulls the trigger in a self-defense situation. It's easy to sit back and say, oh, I would have done it in a second. And I believe you would have if you felt it would, you know, prevent more carnage out there. I know I would have, but there is still an aftermath that takes place both internally and within the legal system that is a lot to bear. And so you could be perfectly in the right situation most of the time. In most places, they will say, great job, you saved a lot of lives. And other the time, they'll question your motive and what you had to do with all this. Okay, so we're getting back to the situation. So they're really not sure what exactly happened here. They say that, that clearly in my eyes, it was a domestic dispute, but a murder takes place right before 10 a.m. in a Walmart parking lot. CBS and CNN totally omits the part where an armed citizen intervened and potentially saved more lives. Nonetheless, we have three people dead. And I find this fascinating given Walmart's position on guns and ammo and everything else that they've been announcing. And yet, time and time again, we are seeing violent things happen at Walmart. And for those of you that still go there, I would say carry on because that place is dangerous. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.